This is the Deep Blue Cosmic Plus uh, dive computer with a battery life of 7 to 12 hours. A large display which is really bright. Uh, you can dive with it to 100 meters depth and you can even change out the straps. But the best thing of all, it has a connecting app with a whole community to it. The Cosmic doesn't come in a normal box but in a soft house casing. So let's see what's in it. First of all, you get a charger, the computer itself with two straps, a normal black one and a camouflage one, but you can choose this while you order it. Um, these straps can be changed out. It's very easy to do and there's a huge variety of colors available. Also what you get is a bungee strap, which can replace the straps. Um, furthermore, you get a quick start guide. The full manual is online and available in almost all languages will link it below and the last thing you get are screen display protectors which also doubles as anti-glare filters so now it's time to dive into the dive computer uh, first off it's very easy to operate it only has two buttons one on each side and if you press it once it will turn on and you're in the first mode it has six modes in total um, the first one is watch, which turns the computer basically into a watch, which tells the time. Um, on the side here on the left is the mode button. If you press it once, you'll flip to the next mode, which is scuba diving. Um, if you touch it again, you will get into the bottom timer mode. Touch it again, you will get into the free diving mode. Touch it again, you will get to dive log. And if you want to sync the Deep Blue Cosmic with your smartphone, you need to get into sync mode, which is the last one. What's different about the Cosmic is the fact that you can change a whole lot of settings on the computer itself. Only the basics can be changed. Um, for all the rest, you need the app, which is available for Apple and Android. And you can download it in the store. And the first thing you wanna do is sync the computer. Once you open the app, you get onto the Discover page. What you do is you go to the menu, your dive computers, and click on the Cosmic settings. Now the app will tell you you need to get into sync mode. So what we'll do is get into sync mode, and it syncs right away. Once we're in the settings, you will see three different submenus. First off is general. Um, and there are a bunch of settings you can change. First off, default dive mode. This is the mode you want the um, Cosmic to go in when you go on the water. Now we've set it to scuba because that's what we do the most. Measurement units, you can change between meters and feet. Um, scream timeout, this will make the computer go to black within a set amount of time. Furthermore, you can Adjust the salinity level. If you are diving in a high salinity environment, you can turn it on. The altitude can be changed and you can change the backlight brightness of your display during your dive. This is important. You won't see any change on the surface, but underwater. And there's also a power saving mode, which um, lowers the power output when your computer drops below 5%. Next up are the scuba mode settings. Uh, you can change a lot of here. First off is the safety factor. You can set it to be a bit more aggressive or a bit more conservative, but in general, we'll leave it on normal. Um, the PPO2, partial pressure of your oxygen. This is only when you dive with night trucks. Um, you can set it from 1.2 to all the way up to 1.6. Um, next up is the air mix, which is the amount of oxygen in your mixture. You can change this in the app, but also on the computer. So you need, don't need your smartphone to be with you when you're at the dive site or dive operation and um, there's a button on the right side which is the adjust button and you can press it and you can change the air mixture right then and there but you can also do it on the app you can set a depth alarm and you can also set a time alarm the last thing we can change in the app are the free dive mode settings um, important to note almost all of these settings can be changed on a computer as well so you can do it during your free dive session um, you have three depth alarms and one max time alert, which will notify you if this is reached. 
The one thing which really sets the app apart from other apps is that you can only uh, alter the settings, but there's a whole community behind the app. Um, first off, there's a discovery page with all videos and dive log from all over the world of Cosmic users. Um, most of them post photos with their dive logs and you can just scroll through them and see what's new. Um, there's also a feature page with interesting articles about diving. Um, there's a lot to see and a lot to follow, um, which brings us to the following page. If you have dive buddies, all of their information will be shown here, like dive logs and other things they do. Way to add a buddy or get buddies is to add them directly in your menu. You go to the menu and then you can search for buddies. And this is only if you know their handle and you can type it in directly. If you see somebody interesting on the featured or live page, you can just click their name and send an invite to be their buddy. Another awesome thing is the community tab where there are tons of groups for different groups of divers. Um, first off, you have a Diving United States group. You have an uh, underwater photography group. You have a shark diving group. And you can all join these groups or send an invite. Um, side mount diving, there's a bunch of stuff. And of course, there's a 50 feet below diving community and you can join that right now. The next step is the planet tab. And this is all about travel and dive spots. And there are deals to be found with different dive operations. And also you can open a map which shows all the diving places in your facility and you can click them. Um, other people may have left dive logs or raided the place um, and you can do the same if you want to. And it's, it's really helpful even right here. And I open the screen, there are like 15 dive spots right there. Although it's fun to watch everybody else dive, you want to post dive logs of yourself. Um, and this is very easy. You just go back to your dive computer um, and say import log dives and you set the computer back to sync mode. Once your dives are in your logbook, uh, you can publish them. They're not published on default. You have to allow it. Uh, what you do is push the big blue button in the middle and say dive log. You just choose one of your dives and then you can enter all the information, even add a photo. Your depth graph is added, uh, what kind of gear you use even some buddies can be added and you can make quite a spectacle of it. In the menu, you can find a lot of other things, also notifications when someone tries to add you as a dive buddy or when you have joined the group. Um, if you tap a favorite dive spot, it will enter in your favorites. And if you book a trip through the app, you can also find it back in your trips with all the information included. There are also deep blue events, which are gatherings, a video contest, and everything related to the deep blue com community. Um, the deep blue academy will teach you everything about the app, and it's a real nice thing to read. And there are some basic settings, which you can change furthermore in the menu. If you have any questions left after this video, leave them in the comments, and we're happy to help you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.